Today we're gonna start in a cross-legged position. You're more than welcome to put your right foot on top of your left foot or your left foot on top of your right foot or crisscross applesauce, whatever makes you comfortable. Once we're in an easy pose, the first thing we're going to do is roll our shoulders up on the inhale and down on the exhale. Once more up on the inhale, roll shoulders down the back on the exhale. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Exhale, hands down slowly. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Exhale, hands down slowly. Go ahead and do this a couple times on your own, just to get your body moving. Inhale, hands up. On your next exhale, when the hands are down, keep them down. Extend your hands out, balance on the fingertips, on the tops, slightly bend your head to the left just enough to feel some sort of sensation. Breathe into it. What happens if we move our heads slightly, shifting our gaze to the sky? Exhale back to center. And go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Slightly shift the gaze upwards. And then bring head position back to neutral, facing forward. On the next inhale, bring the hands up to the sky. Reaching forward, bend over the legs. Reaching forward till you feel some sort of sensation. And whenever you're ready, just drop the head, curve the spine. Lift the head, slowly walk your hands back up to a seated position. Switch the position of the legs. If your right foot was on top, put it on the bottom, vice versa. And again, inhale, hands out to the sky. Exhale, reach forward, hands down. Feel the sensation. Exhale, round the spine. On your next inhale, slightly walk your hands up into a seated position. Grab both knees, put them in front of you like so. Wrap your hands around your knees or grab the knees. Curve the spine and slowly inch your way down onto your back. Allow your legs to fall naturally. Once more, allow the shoulder blades to open up. And on your next inhale, raise hands over the head. Preparing for a stretch. Reach the hands to the back of the room while reaching the toes in the opposite direction. Give yourself a nice little stretch out. Extend the right side, foot and arm, more so to the left side, and then switch. Just allowing gentle movement into the body. 
On your next inhale, bring hands back up to the sky. Bring the knees into the chest. Grab the knees. On the inhale, bring the knees away from the body. And on the exhale, empty the belly. Bring belly to spine. Bring knees into chest. Lifting. Again, exhale. Inhale on your own time. Just bring some forward and backward movement of the knees. Within the next couple of breaths, rock the knees from side to side. Maybe try a circular motion, moving clockwise, counterclockwise, rooting down from the core. On your next breath, allow the knees to fall to the right hand side. Extend left hand out. Simple twist. Inhaling, exhaling to deepen the stretch. On your next inhale, bring knees back to center. On the next exhale, bring knees to the left hand side, extend the right hand. You're more than welcome to extend the left hand as well. The goal is to keep both shoulders down onto the mat, breathing into it. What do you feel? Inhale, bring knees back to center, extend the right leg out long and allow the left knee to massage the stomach creating space within the body with your right hand grab your left knee and allow a gentle twist to the right keep your shoulders on the mat Breathing into this pose. On the next inhale, bring body back to center. And allow the left foot to drop down to meet the right. And then bring the right foot up knee into chest, massaging gently the lower stomach, creating space, aiding in digestion. And when you're ready, grab the right knee with the left hand and gentle twist to the left, keeping shoulders down the back on the mat. Inhale back to center. Grab both big toes with your pointer finger and your middle finger. It's called peace fingers. Pull the legs back into happy baby. Try to keep the back fully on the ground and that includes the bottom of the spine. Release the feet, bring feet down to the mat. Open the legs wide like a book. <sighs> Breathe into this restorative pose. See what you notice.
slowly bring both knees to meet in the center, feet flat on the ground. Grab your knees and bring everything into a tight little ball, even your toes, your face, squinch it all. If you're taking a bite out of a lemon, and then extend arms overhead, feet extended out. Give yourself one last stretch before grabbing the knees again and slowly rocking forward and backwards, gaining momentum until you are in a comfortable seated position. From this comfortable seated position, take your hands and put them on the mat and roll over your knees. Take your time. There's no great way to do this. Whatever is easiest for you. Then lay hands flat onto the mat. Bring knees to the mat, allowing for a neutral spine. Now, don't tighten the elbows, relax the elbows. Evenly distribute the weight on all fingers, not just into the center of the palms. Knees should be hip distance apart. On the next inhale, bring the eyes to gaze onto the horizon accentuating the natural curve of the spine. And on the exhale, bring belly to spine, allowing the back to curve upwards. Go at your own pace. Inhale up, drop the belly, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. After a couple more rounds, go ahead and sit your seat back. Extend the hands in front of you for child's pose. Roll the head on the mat, loosen up the neck. Your next inhale, move back to tabletop position. Press into the mat with the tops of your feet, lifting the knees off of the ground. We're building the fire. On your next exhale, drop the knees to the mat. Curl the toes. And rise to downward dog. Lift the belly to the spine. The goal is not to have straight legs per se. That's a product of what you're practicing. The goal is to elongate the spine. So bend your knees. Wag your tail from side to side. Just breathe into the pose. On your next inhale, stand up on your tippy toes, look forward and walk hands to meet, or the feet to meet the hands. Forward fold. Toes should be facing forward. Knees can be as bent as you need them to be. You might even experiment with walking the feet out a little wider. This is called ragdoll, where you grab both elbows and you just gently sway from side to side. Put hands onto the mat, widen feet, 
and just bring your bottom to the ground into a yoga squat, a yogi squat, or garland pose. Try rocking from one side to the other. Just feel into your hips. And if this is too much for you, it's okay if you stand up on your toes a little bit. That's all right, too. Just seeing what the body tells us. Slowly bring feet back in a little. And come back up into a forward fold. Slowly rise from one vertebrae at, the at a time. Hands up. On the inhale, you're welcome to have them touch, not necessary. Exhale. Hands to the side. Mountain pose. In this pose, ensure that your feet are fully on the ground. You're not putting too much pressure on the outside of the feet or the inside or the front or the back. Equal distribution of weight. Palms shine forward. Push into the ground with your legs and pull upwards, bringing the head closer to the sky. On the next inhale, bring hands up to the sky. Exhale, bring hands out. Swan hands, forward fold. On the exhale, bring belly to spine. Again, feel free to bend your knees. You can always breathe. Inhale, lengthen the spine. This is halfway lift. Put your hands above the knees or below the knees, never on the knees. And on your next exhale, bring hands to the mat, kick back both feet into a plank position. Gently rock forward and backwards on the toes just to see how that feels. Drop knees down to the mat. Slowly bring the chest down. Keep your elbows into the body. With your hands close to your shoulders, near the chest. On the next inhale, slight back bend. Upwards, this is called Cobra. On the exhale, push off of the mat and bring your pelvis to the spine, lifting upwards into down dog. Again, it's not about how straight your legs are. It's about the spine. So keep your knees bent. Sit up on your toes, look forward, and walk up to meet the hands. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise one vertebrae at a time. Bring hands up to the sky. Exhale, hands down to sides. Restore here, breathe, feel good. Inhale, hands up, and we do it again. Exhale, hands to the side, swan. Bring your 
yourself into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands above or below the knees. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands down, feet back into a plank position. You're welcome to drop the knees or you can slowly transition all the way down to the ground. Inhale, baby cobra, that slight back bend. Exhale, curl the toes, sit the hips back and up into down dog. Wag your tail, breathe here. Look to the horizon, step feet to meet the hands at the front of the mat. Halfway lift. On the exhale, and on, on the inhale, I apologize. And on the exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. One vertebrae at a time, up, hands to the sky. They can meet, not necessary. Exhale, bring hands down to the sides. Mountain pose. All right, we're gonna do this sequence two more times, a little faster. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, inhale, halfway lift. Look to the horizon. Exhale, hands to the mat, feet to the back of the mat. Transition down to the mat, full body. Inhale, baby cobra, or extend to full up dog. Exhale, bring the pelvis to the spine, lift up to the sky, down dog. Five rounds of breath here. Wag your tail. Bend the knees, straighten the knees, see how it feels. Look to the hands, walk to the hands. Forward, halfway lift, above or below the knees. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Hands above to the sky. Exhale, hands down to the sides. Toes face forward. Mountain pose. And one more time. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, feet to the back of the mat. Transition down to the mat, full body. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, curl the toes. Down dog. Slowly bring your knees to the mat. Allow the bottom to sit over the legs. Try opening the legs wide. And extend your hands forward into child's pose. We're washing away that sequence. Breathing into child's pose. Welcome to close your eyes and look inward. How do you feel? How does your body feel? That's more important than how it looks. How do you feel?
within the next couple of breaths, transition to a tabletop position. I just roll myself forward, push up on my palms, bring my knees in, flat back. From here, press up onto the tops of your feet, allowing the knees to come up, and flip your feet over into down dog. Widen your feet and walk the hands back to meet the feet. Bring the bottom to the earth. Another yogi squat. And crow is a part of your practice by all means. Get jiggy with it. Try shifting from one foot to the other in yogi squat or garland pose just to see how it feels. Straighten the legs, bring the feet in, forward fold. On the next inhale, slowly rise. Exhale, hands down to the sides, mountain pose. Very good. Go ahead and move towards the center of your mat. We're about to start Sun Salutation B. So, on your next inhale, bring hands out to the sky. Sit down slowly into chair pose. Bring the bottom out towards the back. You should be able to lift your toes. Hands can be up or they can be here. On the exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. We've been here before. Exhale to the mat. Hands down, feet back, plank position. And let's go ahead and bring the knees down first, then the rest of the body to the mat. You're welcome to do a baby cobra or an up dog. And on your next exhale, come down to or come up into down dog. This is where things are going to change a little. Extend the right foot up high and then bring that right foot to meet the hands. We're kind of in a low lunge. Slide that back foot so the full foot is on the ground and rise. You can use your knee to push yourself up into warrior one. Hands can be up here or hands can be here. On the next exhale, bring hands down to the mat. Bring that right foot back to meet the left. On the exhale, you're welcome to bring yourself down to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe into the pose. Inhale, bring the left foot up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring that foot to meet the hands at the top of the mat. Transition that back foot down to the ground. Rise into warrior one. Hands can be up here. Hands can be here into a slight back bend if you're feeling frisky. Or you can keep your hands at prayer. Exhale, transition down to the mat. Go ahead and kick that left foot back to meet the right foot. And transition down to the mat. And one smooth piece. Baby cobra, up dog. Exhale. Feet back. Booty to the ceiling. 
Inhale, kick the right foot up high. Exhale, slowly transition to the front of the mat. Put that right foot in between the hands. And slide that left foot down to the earth. Rise. Don't allow the knee to hyperextend out to the right or the left. Try to keep it fairly neutral. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Bring that right foot back to meet the left. Transition down onto the mat. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Use this down dog as a restorative pose. Catch your breath. And if at any time it's too much, you're always welcome to go to child's pose. On the next inhale, kick that left foot up high. Exhale, bring the foot in between the hands. Transition that right foot to meet the earth and rise. Hands up, exhale, hands to the earth. Kick that left foot back to meet the right and transition down to the mat. Inhale, up dog, or baby cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Just catch your breath. Mind is a wandering mind. This may be the first time in days that some of us have had intentional movement outside of what we are forced to do on the daily. On your next inhale, transition from child's pose by coming up onto the palms into a tabletop position, curl the toes, and we're back up into down dog. This time, bring the right foot up to the sky, slowly bring it towards the right elbow and tap, and then bring the foot back up into the air, three-legged dog, and then transition that foot to meet the hands. So we've been here before. Turn the left foot back, rise to warrior one. Transition to warrior two. Right hand reaches forward, left hand reaches back. Flip your front hand and reverse the warrior. Now bring the right hand down to the knee and lift the left foot above the head. Exhale, bring left hand back, straighten the front knee. Bring the right hand above the head. Exhale, hands out, reaching in opposite directions. Allow the left hip to reach back and the right hand to reach forward, transitioning down into triangle pose, Tikonasana. Exhale, bring that left hand to meet the mat, kick that right foot back and come down onto the mat. Inhale, baby cobra, up down, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Use this down dog as a restorative pose. Breathe into the pose. On the next inhale, bring that foot up high, the left one, the three-legged dog. 
Exhale, bring the left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, bring the foot high up again for three-legged downer. Exhale, bring that foot in between the hands. Low lunge. Allow the right foot to press onto the earth fully. Come up into warrior one. Transition into warrior two, hands press in opposite direction. The knee should be slightly out. Head should be up. On the next inhale, flip your hand and bring the hand to over your head. Exhale, bring the left hand down to meet the right or the left knee and bring that right hand over the head, reaching for the front of the room. Inhale, extend the left leg. Bring the left hand over the head, slight bend. Both hands, one reaches forward, the left hand, the right hand reaches back, the right hip reaches towards the back of the room as the left hand reaches forward. Transition into triangle pose. Feel free to grab the shins here. Exhale, bring the right hand over and down to the mat. Left hand to the mat, kick that left foot back. Plank pose down to the earth. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, down dog. Bring knees down to meet the mat. Sit the tailbone down over the legs. Move into child's pose. Take a couple breaths in, couple breaths out. If any thoughts come to mind, merely wave at them as they pass by. We have nothing else to do and nowhere else to be. When you're ready, we're transitioning back to down dog. Curl toes, lift tail up, pelvis meets the spine. Inhale, right foot up high, tap the right elbow, bring the right foot back up into the air, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring that right foot in between the hands. Transition up into warrior one. Open arms out like wings, warrior two. Reach forward, reach backwards. On the inhale, flip the right hand. Bring it up and above the head. Slight bend. Now transition with the left hand up into the air. Right hand comes down to right knee. Straightening the right leg. Right hand goes over up and over. Exhale, extend full wingspan. Allow the left hip to move back and the right arm or hand to reach forward and tip over into triangle pose. You're more than welcome to bend that right knee. Bring that left hand down to the mat. And bring that right foot to meet the left foot. Plank pose. Down to the earth. Inhale up dog or cobra. Exhale down dog. And breathe. Five breaths. In down dog, 
Extend the left foot up high. It's a three-legged dog. Bring that left knee up to meet the right, the left elbow. And then kick it back up in the air again. Exhale. Bring that left foot to stand between the two hands. We've been here before. Transition right foot down into warrior one. Extend the full wingspan, left hand forward, right hand back, into warrior two. On the inhale, flip the left hand and bring it up and above the head. Slide bend back. Exhale, bring that left hand down to meet the left knee. Bring the right hand up and above the head. And then bring the left hand up, straighten the knee in the front, then slightly to the back. Extend both hands out. Reach the left hand forward, the right hip back, tip over into triangle on the opposite side. Extend the right hand forward and down to the mat. And then kick that right foot back. To meet the left, you know what to do. Plank pose, down to the earth, inhale, cobra up dog, and exhale, down dog. From here, go ahead and bring both feet down to the earth. Knees on the ground. We're in a tabletop position. Now go ahead and slowly transition your bum down to your feet. And just breathe for a moment. Now, transition onto your bottom into an easy seated position. Bring both legs forward, grab the knees, arch the back and slowly transition onto the ground. Grab both knees and transition them over to the right. Extend the left hand out. Keep the shoulders grounded to the ground. That's the real goal. Just breathe. On the next inhale, back to center. Exhale to the left side, extend the right hand out. Left hand out, shoulders down, breathing into the pose. Inhale back to center and grab both big toes with your pointer finger and your middle finger and your thumbs, peace fingers. This is happy baby. Allow knees to come back to center. Place both feet onto the ground and open the knees wide like a book. Sutta Baddha Konasana, also known as Cobbler's Pose. On our next inhale, slowly bring the knees together, slowly it strengthens the legs. Rock knees from side to side. Try widening your, your footing and rock 
Okay, side to side this way. Wheelchair wiper. See how that feels? Does it feel different? On your next inhale, bring knees back to center. Grab the knees and form a little ball. Scrunch everything out of your face, your toes, your tush, everything. And release, allowing the feet to extend long, the hands overhead. Full body stretch. Maybe the left foot extends longer and the left hand extends longer for a deeper stretch on the left side or the opposite side, whatever you need. Bring your hands down to the sides and roll your shoulders down your back to prepare for Shavasana. You've completed the practice. You've done everything that you needed to do today. You should be very proud of yourself. And now you get to enjoy all your hard work.